Hey, this is Olivier in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida at Orchid House. Today I would like to discuss uh, mounting your orchids. Uh, the idea is why would you mount orchids? Well, I guess this is pretty self-explanatory. It looks pretty. So that's one good way to showcase your babies. Now, it's also Mother Nature's ways, really. None of your orchids grow in medium uh, in the wild. They attach themselves to uh, tree branches and that's really how they grow. So one of the main advantage of uh, this type of growing is that uh, you know, if you're a cereal overwaterer like I am, and I believe most orchid growers tend to uh, overwater than the opposite, well this solves the problem. It's really tough to overwater a mounted orchid because the, the roots are exposed to the air and they dry very quickly. Uh, since they are exposed it's also very easy to monitor I mean you can check that there's new growth going on and so you know whether or not your plant is healthy also some of them might need a rest and uh, it's easy to monitor unlike a pot because then the roots grow inside the pot and you really can't tell so that's a, a, an added bonus I would say the last advantage you have here is that you never have to repot them once they are attached to their mount that's it unless the mount disintegrates which usually takes a while especially this type of mount well then you're good for many many years so it's not only very pretty but it also solves a lot of problems now what are the drawbacks well first of all I live in South Florida and so I can grow my plants outside year-round it's less ideal inside the house a mounted orchid needs to be watered a lot for many of them it means daily so if you don't have the time to do that or if you don't have the patience you don't want to do it well that's obviously not an ideal scenario and then the last drawback is really that when you have pots you can put them side by side so uh, it doesn't take as much space this takes space you need to have uh, areas where you can hang your plants so that's that's a, a negative now uh, let's talk about how to mount them. I'm not going to give you a demonstration, uh, but basically talk about the, the, the basic principles. Uh, you want to start mounting an orchid the same time that you would repot it. So it needs to be growing, actively growing, and ideally with new roots. Why? Well, the new roots are going to attach readily to your mount, and then the plant is going to establish itself much faster. Uh, that's really critical if you don't do that you're probably gonna have a failure uh, so you need to really figure out and understand what your uh, plant is gonna look like down the road this has been uh, mounted for three years now it's very happy it's properly seeded uh, as you can tell it, it blooms readily this is a Zelia and Koa it's a type of oncidium that needs uh, to dry uh, to grow dry so that's why it, it's an ideal candidate for this so you need to find the right mount in terms of size and proportion and, and, uh, and compared to what your orchid is going to look like down the road. Now once uh, you attach your orchid, this one is, is a, a dry grower, but this is a, a little Phalaenopsis for instance. And these are ideal candidates as well because they tend to rot easily in a pot. I mean the, the crown rots quickly, so mounted is, is a good way to, to grow them. Uh, these really need to have, this right now is dry, but uh, they really need to have a, a, a little bit of moss at the base. Uh, and that's also a very important uh, rule when you take it out of the pot and you decide to mount it. At first any of these plants should have some moss at the base. What happens is that the plant is used to be constantly moist and all of a sudden it's in the open and it dries very quickly. It's kind of a shock, like a transplant shock. So, by putting some mass here, which is uh, water retentive, well, uh, it's going to have time to adjust and, and, uh, and transition. Now, a Phalaenopsis is a, is a plant that shouldn't be dry for too long, so usually you should keep them with moss uh, all the time. But as you can tell, it grows outside of the moss area, and then they, they like that. Now, if you uh, ideal candidates for mounting are Oncidiums uh, or Trichocentrums, which is also in the same family, so these, for instance, once they are established on their mount, I don't leave any moss at all. So when this was grown less than a year ago, that these three uh, bulbs and nothing else and hardly any roots. So I put a big 
a patch of moss at the top and then kept it I let it go dry but I mean I, I made sure it was uh, moist quickly after that and then it started growing roots and it attached itself to the mound very quickly and then by the time it was well established I removed uh, the moss. Now the last critical aspect when mounting an orchid is you do not want your plants to wobble. This is now well established so there's no uh, nothing uh, to attach it to the mount but at first just like you see here you really need to use whatever you want to use I mean I, I use the velcro which I think looks uh, works great but any type of string that will firmly attach your plant to the mount is critical if your plant wobbles it's going to be panicking it probably is going to shut down and not grow and then eventually it's going to die so moisture at first uh, making sure that your plant doesn't wobble are very important issues this is for instance a Cattleya species the Schofield yarn it's far from established but it's growing many many roots it's already attached properly here it's attached properly there and there's more coming all the way here so for now I mean I have this that firmly uh, keeps the, the, the plant from wobbling uh, there's a bunch of moss uh, there's a bin, bit of coconut fiber all that that keeps the moisture down the road I want to get rid of all that once the plant is firmly attached so I just hope I, uh, I try to convince you that mounting is a, is a great idea you just want to follow these uh, these important uh, principles again I mean if you live in South Florida or South California Southern California those are great places to do that it might be less ideal uh, up north but I mean mounting orchids uh, for some of them is uh, really 